Hi everybody, this is uh, Itsu, still uh, working on the Della Morto Kescher oscillator. Um, I've changed my uh, secondary coil, I understand. The driver coil was from the seven turns to the two turns I have here now at the bottom. Just two wires. And uh, that's all. It should be uh, uh, the minimum I can uh, can have at the moment, I think. And this uh, two wires increased my uh, blue streamer at the top of uh, of the catcher. Catcher. So I think it's 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 better this way to have a minimum uh, driver coil, secondary coil. And what I found out is that even though I have a better blue streamer at the top, so more HF or high voltage RF output, my uh, bulb still connected. I have the copper tube inside somewhere there. I have the cable to the coil at the bottom. This is the coil 3. To the bulb and my 10 watt bulb but it's hardly uh, lit anymore now with this uh, configuration so it seems that whatsapp is right and that this uh, this coil 3 is more powered by the uh, driver coil the secondary coil than the catcher coil itself and that's something i can understand because I have now only a two wire uh, driver coil and uh, the coupling is, is uh, much less. I can tune with the capacitor till it lits a little bit. And there it goes. Oops, what's the wires? So this is the maximum I can tune and it's it's very very weak and normally i had a much brighter light uh, as you can see in my uh, former videos so i think the coupling between the driver coil the red one and the, and the, the black coil it's a different coil okay it's it's less it is not 10 but seven turns but uh, it's uh, much less at the moment um, So that's not a good uh, sign. So what I wanted to measure is uh, how do we now see the field of this catcher coil. So I have made uh, my little uh, uh, RF meter. It's a UV meter with an uh, AV plug, two diodes. And I have hooked my red probe to it. What is it? Somewhere here. So I can now probe uh, a little bit the outline of the, the Kescher coil and you see the, the meter is, uh, is at the middle at the moment. A little bit hard to focus on this. I will put it nearby. And I also have the red probe hooked up and you can see I have a frequency here. Uh, of about uh, 3.4 megahertz. So the Kescher coil is now oscillating at 3.4 megahertz and this is uh, the RF coming out of the meter also. And when I now go up we see a in the middle I have a nice dip on the meter and when I go it raises again. Oops, I have to. So in the middle of the catcher coil I have here a dip. I can almost touch. When is it? It's now almost touched uh, with this probe. And you can see at the back that also the uh, the red probe output is, is at, the, at the dip here, a minimum. So I have now a kind of split uh, catcher coil. I have a, 
I have an, an, a note here and I have, I have a dip in the middle. And it looks in at the scope shot that I'm not sure that that the the face is turning 180 degrees, but uh, I cannot be sure because uh, it can also be a sync problem. So I have now a, a dip in the middle, but when I now raise the bulb is still lit. When I now raise the the coil three. You will see, or <laughs> I have one hand short now at the moment, but we will see that the frequency of the oscillation goes down, and uh, also uh, at a certain point, half not not at one third, the oscillation completely stops, and I have no RF anymore. So uh, it seems that uh, this third coil, when moving upwards. It compresses the coil, the Kesha coil, and until it's uh, very low in frequency, something about uh, 2.5 megahertz. And I, I guess with with the dip in the middle, and then it stops oscillating. And then I have no output at all. So <coughs> I don't think I can uh, I can move the, the 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 L3 coil too much up. Because it uh, it will uh, will kill the RF, so that's a little bit where I'm uh, at the moment. Uh, I have better RF output with a uh, two-turn driver coil, the secondary coil, as I understand it. But uh, the output on the, the L3 coil with the bulb is uh, is minimized uh, this way. Okay, thank you for watching. Okay, just uh, for comparison, I now have removed all the uh, the copper tubing and the L3 coil from the catcher, so I have a uh, a bare catcher uh, configuration now, and I will now probe uh, at the same uh, way uh, the outline of the catcher coil to see that I have no dip in the middle. Uh, I have some RF now at the bottom. There is a dip at the bottom, and when I go up, you can see uh, the meter is going uh, all the way to the maximum. But I have to in the neighborhood from the cache coil to shoot to show both. And there is no dip in the middle, and it can go all the way up, and it still is. Uh, and now it uh, starts to uh, decrease on the meter, but. Uh, there is absolutely no dip in the middle without uh, the third coil or the uh, or the copper pipe in the middle. So that's compared with a bare cache coil and uh, with all the stuff that uh, somehow the uh, arrangement of the cache coil is uh, is uh, changed uh, with all this uh, L3 stuff coil. Okay, thank you.